you going, asshole? All right, get the big ones next week, okay? Yes, yeah, well, it better be by the end of the week, Holmes. already dead.
You can do hard time for breaking and entering, Lieutenant. Cops don't do hard time, Counselor. They have smart lawyers. Are you a smart liar? I'm a damn genius. I talked to the department psychiatrist the other day. Admitting there's a problem. That's the first step. They're for headaches. I feel one coming on right now. He says you can't have selective amnesia, that there is no such thing. That's it? That's why you're here? Is there something else I should know? There's a whole set of encyclopedias in there if you want to know something. Half the shrinks in the world don't believe in selective amnesia. This doctor, the psychiatrist, what's his name? Dr. J. McConnell, Southwest General. You know, I wait 15 months for you guys to find the animals that butchered my family. And you're still checking me out. You ought to ask the department shrink if you can cure stupid. All I know is a large shipment of drugs comes into a private dock where your boat is parked. Now, your entire family is wiped out. But yet you can't ID the perps because you got some damn amnesia that don't exist. Get the hell out of here. OK. You got my number. If you think of anything, give me a call. In a related story, an unknown assailant killed a drug dealer and two other men in Crystal Beach last night. Several people saw the suspect, including this homeless woman who declined to give her name. I seen him. He, there was a big fight, and he threw this guy off the roof, and, 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 and then he just, he, he, he disappeared. He disappeared. He, he's a, he's a, a, a karate man. Yeah, yeah, that's what he is. He's a karate man. If you have any information regarding this incident, Please call 555-UTIP. What are we doing? I've had my eye on a certain painting for a couple of weeks. Come take a look. Your detective friend paid me a call. Sorry, Mac. Passive-aggressive personality, possible closet sociopath. Ten to one, he's on the take. There's some beautiful work in here. There sure is. Dr. McConnell, you've brought a mysterious stranger to Joanna's reflection. Joanna, <clears throat> this is my very good friend, John Decker, Joanna Montaigne. Pleasure to meet you. I've never seen you this quiet, John. He's a lawyer. Oh, are you rich? I simply adore wealthy lawyers. They're so ruthless. Not rich, but absolutely ruthless. <laughs> well, that's a start. Speaking of rich, I hope you brought your trick. I'm just looking around. Of course, darling. But there's a particularly expensive piece I would like to show you right over here. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. Do you paint? No. Mac told you to ask that. No. Well, I don't paint. Sorry. Would you like to meet the artist? No, I don't think so. Come on. Take a chance. Hiroshi-san, 
This is Mr. Decker. He admires your work very much. Go ahead. I'll be right there. I'm sorry to disturb you, Hiroshi-san. Please, forgive me. You will be coming invisible. You have been trying to swallow your key and become nothing. You understand key. Let me look at you. What has turned you inside out? I don't know. I lost everything. I've dedicated my whole life to peace and reason both in my profession and my martial art. And now I've broken all the rules. I, I've dishonored my family. There was a fight. Men were killed. Every thought, every birth, every new thing is a product of violence. The waterfall rages and becomes a quiet pool. Lightning tears the sky. Under the bridge, a cricket sings. Here you go, Jeffrey. Go turn the boat lights on. You know, I, I know somebody's calling me, but uh, maybe the batteries are dead. There's nothing wrong with your beeper. I told everyone, including your service, that we were going out of town for the entire weekend. Laura, I've got clients. Hey, this weekend, both my men are all mine. I feel naked without my beeper exactly what I had in mind. So if you want this, you're gonna have to work real hard. <laughs> open now. Fully awake. John? John? How do you feel? Uh, no worse than a train wreck. What happened? You're still blocking the memory. You couldn't do anything to save Laura and Jeffrey, but you feel as though you betrayed them because you didn't die too. That's why you can't break through. I start to remember something. And then it's like a door just slams shut in my face. Let's continue weekly sessions. And keep in mind, I want you to call me as soon as you remember anything specific. You're the doctor. Hell, I'm just an old country boy who reads a few books. Which reminds me, there's an explanation of your condition in chapter six. Thanks. This will help me sleep tonight. I'll walk you out. I want to give you something a little stronger for those headaches. Bye, 
buy you dinner at Mario's? I can't. I have to go to jail tonight. My uh, prison therapy group. We've known each other for a long time, John. I've known Joanna for quite a while, too. Oh. You know who I'm talking about. What's wrong with me, man? I'm all right. Take that off the art gallery. With the legs? Don't get me wrong. It's been more than a year now. A little female companionship might do you a lot of good. But, um, not Joanna, old buddy. Furthest thing from my mind. Good. Is she single? She's got a jealous ex-boyfriend. Look, Joanna's a great girl, but her life's a little complicated right now. Hey! It's a goddamn candy store! Medical knowledge was going to come in handy someday. <laughs> Here, let's take a look at you. I'm okay. It's okay. That's ridiculous. You can have a concussion. Actually, I feel great. And I remembered something from the night of the beach. What? Must have been the fight. We should do another session right now. I've got to go. Yeah, but but wait. case. It's a drug case from 89. Certainly. Can I speak to Sergeant Williams in narcotics? John Decker. The three o'clock is canceled. I've rescheduled for next week. Hold on. You have a court appointment tomorrow at 10. I'm back. I need to ask you a favor. So, just some things I'm curious about. Okay. I'll see you.
I'll be seeing you. Do I look like the Salvation Army? I ain't got nothing for ten bucks. Look, I got some class customers down here, dig, you know, people working banks and shit. Check it out, brother. The streets is paved with gold. Now you go out and you get you some, then you come back and see me. Who the hell are you? Where do you get these drugs? <laughs> and where do you get those clothes? I think I don't know who you are. Now, who do you think we are, Mama? <laughs> you're the lowlifes that run that rock house up the street, and I ain't none of your mamas. Yeah, you're right. We're the lowlifes that run that rock house. And we own this street. And we don't need no citizens committee stirring up no trouble. It's uh, bad for business. So why don't you just uh, forget about it, huh? I've been living in this neighborhood for 30 years, and I'm not about to turn it over to trash like you. Well, if you're gonna cause trouble, we're gonna have to help you uh, <laughs> move away from here. You wanna burn something, tough guy? Like my father. Ah! I see you haven't had your ass kicked in a long time. I used to box a little. Let me see if you can handle this.
Dr. McConnell's office. Hi, Jonesy. It's me. Is Mac there? Sure, just a minute. Hi, John. What's up? I had a nightmare. Why didn't you call me? It was 4 a.m. I told you to call me immediately. I want you to come in now. Can I just tell you? No, I want, I want you to come into the office. I've got too much work to do. <sighs> okay, but listen, um, call me tonight at home. I'll be there all night. All right. See ya. in drug trafficking is up 10% from last year's figures for the South Central Los Angeles area. In a related story, which is sparking even more controversy among citizens on both sides of the vigilante issue, the karate man has struck again. Last night's attack brings to five the number of those now dead at the hands of the mysterious karate man. <laughs> Lieutenant Edward Croft. Lieutenant Croft, are you there? Uh, yes, I am. We on the force will not tolerate this vigilante's murder spree. Our district attorney is prepared to prosecute to the full limits of the law. Hell, man. Half of my people think dude's a ghost. Anybody wants me to go back out there, they can kiss my big hairy ass. Do we have a problem? No, uh, not anymore, we ain't got a problem. <laughs> what kind of problem did we have, Bubba? Oh, well, uh, you still got a problem, Rick. You got some psycho out there wasting our people. But I don't got a problem. So we don't got a problem, understand? Because I am taking a long vacation from this gig, man. Bubba. Bubba, now what am I going to do with you? I ain't going back out there! All right, then. Relax. Take it easy, all right? It's okay. Now, the operation's always been good to you, no? Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think? You're some soldier? You're expendable? Huh? No. Oh, no, yeah, right. Because you... Oh. Blade, Nikki. Did we start this thing together? We yeah. are the operation, are we? Well, yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we have to take care of each other. Don't we? Yeah, man. <laughs> no one walks on this operation. If we fall, we lose. I never lose. Now, we can either stand together or not at all. Out on the street, all of you. Talk to your people, see what you can find out. If they don't listen, convince them. Well, let's go! Take care of that piece of shit! What are you looking at? Yeah, hi. It's me. Yes, sir. No, I'm sorry to bother you, but we've got a problem. Yeah, we really need to talk about it. So the answer is yes. I do come here often. It's one of the places I go when I want to be alone. Do you want to be alone now? I haven't decided yet. I've never seen you here before. I followed you. Ah, the eternal quest. And what is that? A truly good place for supper. <laughs> have you ordered? Mm -hmm. I'll have a Caesar salad, a glass of mineral water, and another glass of wine for the lady. You don't drink. Or smoke or chew tobacco. Good God, a healthy one. We are in trouble. I suppose you're afflicted with ideals as well. I've been accused of it from time to time. And were you acquitted? I'm working on it. Mr. Hiroshi asked about you. He never asked about anyone. 
How do you like the piece you bought? I hardly look at anything else. Too much of a good thing dulls the senses. Maybe we can get together sometime and test your theory. Oh, I have to warn you about something, Decker. Please do. Don't. I can't afford to get involved right now. I'm trying to build a business and my life has some serious complications. You could get hurt. I wouldn't want that on my conscience. Ideals? Don't be ridiculous. I was hoping I'd find you here. Jerry, I thought you were on your way to Zurich. Well, something came up. It may prove to be a blessing in disguise. Oh. Um, Jerry Geisler, this is John Decker. If we hurry, we can still make the French Council General's party. Oh, not tonight, Jerry. Thank you, but I'm showing a new collection, and I've got a thousand things to finish up. It's going to be packed with fat bankers, studio brass, a couple of senators, all very potential customers for the gallery. So don't say no. I think she already did. I don't think we've met. Sure we did. About a half a minute ago when you invited yourself to sit down. Who is this guy? Uh, Mr. Decker bought a Hiroshi from me. Christ. <laughs> say no more. It's time for you to leave. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, old man. I'll be right back. Take your time. Jerry, did you have to do that? Joanna, it was an accident. for you to leave. But I haven't finished my dinner yet. You wouldn't like the food anyway. No, I'd always have to wonder, would I? And that's it. You're out of here. See you later, guys. Don't worry about him. I don't think he might be here. Look, we still have 45 minutes. We can hustle back to your place and change and... Listen, Jerry. I really appreciate everything you've done for me. But you will not tell me how to live my life. Joanna, Joanna. Listen, I simply thought he looked a bit... crude. Sorry to interrupt, old man, but there's a couple of boys in the washroom and they're calling for you. Must have been something they ate. Excuse me. Take your time. What happened? Nothing serious. Just a couple of guys trying to pick me up in the john. Come on. I know where we can get a great Caesar salad and the service is much better. I can't just... Do you know how powerful Jerry is? Come on, take a chance. I do hope we don't regret this. At noon today, our KTJS news department turned over nearly $900,000 in crack and powdered cocaine to police commander Dalton Fox. The cocaine was left in the KTJS mailroom sometime last night with a note indicating that it was a gift to the city from this mysterious vigilante, now being referred to as the Karate Man. People are beginning to ask if one man can take this quantity of illegal drugs off the streets, why can't our police department do more? All right, people. In case you missed it, the pressure is on. The good news. Muggings, armed robbery, burglary. They're down all over the west side. And because of that, the bad news. Not one civilian is willing to give us a description of the karate man. Karate man. I wonder if he wears tights and shit. <laughs> <laughs> when vigilante psychos confiscate coke, the captain is embarrassed. And that makes my life extremely uncomfortable. Starting today, your life too. 
Everybody is on overtime until this nut is off the street. Maybe we should hire this guy. <laughs> I don't want to hear any more of that. Narcotics is turning up the heat on all our informants. So are we. Price? Over the past two years, I have a list here of 203 people that have died in drug-related incidents. All right, we have no witnesses, no physical evidence. Price's list is where we start. Run them down. Surviving families, the grieving fiancés, every possibility. Hey, 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 people! We are looking for somebody with hand-to-hand -hand combat training. I want everybody on this karate man. Now, get out of here. Oh, for goodness sake, Deck, it's 10 o'clock. We didn't even stop to eat. You've got a lot of work to do to get this ready for the public. I think it's going to be perfect. You know, Deck, I'll bet you were one of those men who like to fix everything at home all by yourself. Yeah, I guess I was. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Mac told me what happened. He talks too much. He cares about you an awful lot. Yeah, the big ox ought to. In fact, he lived with me on the weekends. And he snores. Oh, God, well, I should never have brought it up. That's OK. I guess I trust you. Oh, you can't do that. Well, can I at least trust you to hold this rock when I put this hose in? Different people, Decker. I have priority. And I don't. Well, success is expensive. Most people aren't willing to pay the price, and I am. Is that why you put up with your friend, Geisler? He knows a lot of wealthy people who invest in art. Does he deal drugs? I doubt it's that serious. How did you meet Mac? Does it have anything to do with why you gave up painting? I told you I don't ever want to talk about that. Yes, but you didn't know me well enough when you said that. Well, I know you more than I want to. What is the big deal? Maybe it's a big deal to me, you bastard! Don't you think you're overreacting? His name was Michael, and he drank. He was a very talented painter. Beautiful work. I just finished what I thought was the best painting I'd ever done. We had a big fight that night. When you're close to someone, you know just the thing to say that will hurt them the worst. But he said awful things about me and my work. But I wanted to hurt him as badly as he'd hurt me. I said he was committing suicide with alcohol and drugs. And he should just find a quicker way to kill himself. So he did. I'm sorry. Under a pier, they found his clothes, his wallet, and a ring that I made for him. I don't understand. Do we get what we want? What we deserve? I can't remember. You will. There, there was a man with a cane. You, you tried too hard. If I could just see his face. Decker, son, looks can be deceiving. 
I have to go. Dekasan, in this life, it is very difficult to know who is trustworthy and uh, who is not. So who is? <laughs> yes, who is? Winds scatter a nest, seeking new straw. The bird flies alone. Ah, oh, come on. This is gonna be fun. How much? Hundred bucks. What the hell are you doing? Putting you out of business? Like hell you are. You wanna die, boy. Oh! You in a heap of trouble, boy. Ugh! <sighs> 
bathroom. No, um, actually you said you'd be out late, but I did want to drop something by. Wasn't this place a lot neater when I was here last? Yeah, I have somebody come in once a week just to mess it up. Hello, stranger. Hi, beautiful. I have something to show you. Sure. Just a minute. Oh, you've got something on your left cheek right there. Suspect in custody, but are not releasing any information until they complete their investigation. Did you finish the garden? Hello? Uh, no, yes. Uh, maybe tomorrow. The sound of gunfire disrupted the otherwise peaceful atmosphere of Crystal Beach Park, and five are dead bringing the total number killed or apprehended by the karate man to 29. Tonight we have with us Lieutenant Croft. Lieutenant? Yes? Can you tell us what happened? Well, it would appear that one of the victims was forced to ingest large quantities of cocaine. He has been identified as a convicted felon. Lieutenant Croft, another source, told us that the karate man may have been wounded in this attack. Well, there was some blood leaving the scene, but that's all we know right now. How does your new ad look? Meanwhile, in other areas of the city, oh, it looks beautiful. citizens are fighting. I'm glad I took a quarter page. Uh, otherwise, you wouldn't have been able to read the gallery sign. Are you coming out or what? Just a few minutes. Rick Manson's World Motion Tour is over, and what a success it was. Manson skateboarded across Canada in 11 months. Can I get a call? No, um, I was just checking my messages. What happened to your leg? Nothing. Decker, are you all right? I mean, is everything, you know? I'm fine. Why do you ask? No reason. I have something to show you. She sold it to me, but only because he knew I'd give it to you. I insist on paying for it. Absolutely not. It's a gift. I didn't say with money. Well, in that case, it's going to be very, very, very expensive. Eight of our guys couldn't handle him. I've seen Bo kick the shit out of two sailors and not even break a sweat. Are you listening to me? He made him eat coke. Will you shut the hell up? We got business to take care of. That shipment comes in tonight. It should be no problem, but I want you on your toes. The karate man's got the upper hand. He knows how to find us. But that's all about the change. So I got a little call last night. It's some very important information. <laughs> Stitches. Word is you've been interfering with the boss's property. You know, you were right about that restaurant the other day. Definitely overrated. <laughs> we're here to give you a warning, pal. This is funny, man. We're taking you for a little ride. If you move one finger, he's gonna blow it off.
I'll leave, all right. Just as soon as you tell... Look at me. No! What happened? Geisler? What difference does it make? What does he have on you? Whatever it is, you and I have to quit. You told me not to trust you. I should have listened. Go away. You found something out about me last night, didn't you? I don't even know who I am anymore! So you make a quick call to Geisler and he sends his goons out to pop me. You think I sold you out. You made the call from my house last night. Ha! Yes! And so Jerry came over here to thank me and gave me this. Jerry hit me tonight because I told him I was starting a new life with you. You made a call. Yes, yes, yes! I called Mac. He asked me to let him know if you showed any signs of instability. And I would say that a grown man acting out his goddamn Zorro fantasies pretty safely fits that category, wouldn't you? Just tell your boyfriend I'm coming after him. You do whatever you like. Where is your son? Dekasan. I leave this city in one day's time. Violence can become the servant of peace. But when the servant becomes the master, we have to discuss this. Friends don't spy on each other. Doctors have special license. And besides, you missed two sessions. But more importantly, Joanna thinks you're the karate man. That's crazy. Crazy or not, if she believes it, she could tell Geisler. So what? If Mr. Geisler is the one bringing in all these drugs, he's gonna want you dead. She wouldn't tell him. You don't know her like I do. A couple of years ago, she had a boyfriend. I know all about it. He committed suicide. John. He was murdered. You better do a session right now. No. Listen to me. When your memory finally emerges, you'll be going into a long, dark tunnel. I'd like to be around to make sure you come I'll out the call other call you. Friends of yours? Dissatisfied uh, clients. Damn, Decker, I hope your insurance is paid up. These things happen sometimes when they see my bill. You know, when I got the call, somehow I knew it was you. Come on, I'll buy you a drink.
like it's going to take a couple of stitches. Question. Where were you Tuesday night? Home. You sure you can remember? Were you alone? Uh, let me see. I have to check my calendar. Oh, you have that many visitors. Yeah. Me and Graceland can't keep the crowds away. <laughs> I, uh, I know you got this amnesia problem, but uh, how about the weekend? Where were you Saturday? Home. How about Thursday night? Home. Definitely home. That was the night my uh, cat was sick. Oh, well, your memory sure has improved. Of course, you could say also that uh, you don't have an alibi. I don't need one. You work out, so you seem to be in pretty good shape. I do a little running from time to time. Come on, Decker. Don't you think I know you studied with a martial arts master? You gotta be kidding me. You think I'm a vigilante? You think I'm the karate man? Eh, that's a reasonable possibility. What I don't understand is uh, what you're doing with Joanna Montaigne. Can I ask you a question? Sure. What do you know about her... Boyfriend? Yeah. What happened? Officially suicide. And unofficially? We were pursuing it as a murder investigation. But your buddy Geisler, he had so much juice in town that he had it squashed. So you think he did it? I was investigating her. This is for the drinks. Thanks for the ride. Well, that's not necessary. See, I, uh, I get my drinks free. Bar owners like for me to stop in from time to time. You do pretty well for a poor, honest cop. Who said I was poor? Don't take any long vacations. Check in every 10 minutes. No, 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 come on, take it easy. All right? I got this thing under control. Mm. I got guys outside with radios, they call in every 10 minutes. <laughs> Frankly, I hope the bastard does get through. No, I've got Uzis in here, about five guys. That's right. Look, as soon as we base the last shipment, we will be in the new place by midnight. That's a promise. All right. Roadrunner to base, over. What the hell's going on? I don't know, I think that asshole's asleep again.
What happened to you? You smell like an ashtray. I ran into a little trouble. Well, you can't stay here. I've got no place else to go. Aren't you afraid I'll turn you in? I don't care. The karate man's finished. Oh, my God, you're on. I almost killed a kid tonight. into his face. I saw my son, Jeffrey. Something I need to ask you. Ask me later. Find something, Lieutenant. Ah, uh, just some blood here in the area. Have forensic check everything, huh? All right. All right, what do you got? Okay, we got seven bodies. I recognize one of them, a crooner or a Kruger or something. Uh, I busted him on a 211 about three years ago. And we got uh, two burned to a crisp outside. Huh. Well, the fire department says that there was ether in there. Definitely a lab. All right, get forensics in here. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is one efficient son of a bitch, huh? Sooner or later, though, he's gonna make a mistake, and then we can nail his ass to the wall. Unless he already ate it in the fire. Well, we would know that if we get forensics in there, wouldn't we? Yes, sir. You're not going to find much in the dark. Well, rope off the area and let's go to work. Okay, you got it.
You should have called first. We would have made sandwiches. Shut up. We're going for a ride. Who the hell do you think you are? I suppose you have a warrant. Right here in my hand. Now get your clothes on. Let's go. Bright, Croft. Really bright. You break in without probable cause. No search warrant. You know, you didn't even read me my rights. You have the right to shut the fuck up. Get in the car. I found this inside the warehouse tonight. It's just like the one you left in the bar. I don't have to guess anymore, do I, karate man? We're not going to headquarters, are we? Police station's the other way. That's right. Karate man, you there? Pick up if you are, my man, because I got someone here you might want to talk to. Meet me tomorrow at sunrise at the airfield off of 107. That's right, sunrise. That's right, brother. And if you don't show up, my boys are going to party with your lady, and that's a promise. Have a nice day. Sunrise, honey. Smell that beautiful air. Beautiful day for us to be together. You know, as soon as I kill your boyfriend, we will be. <laughs> what, not the romantic type, huh? All right. Well, you're looking a little cold, so I'll tell you what. I'm gonna give you my coat. So when I get back, I'll take care of you myself. Before I kill your boyfriend, I'm gonna carve him up and make sushi. He's here. I can feel him. He's right on time, too. Hey, karate man! Hey, buddy! Good day to die, no? You're the big bad karate man. You don't look so bad to me.
Said freeze, asshole. John, John, John. I didn't want any of this. Matt! What can I say? The world, the world sucks. sucks. So a few years ago, I got this idea. And in my prison therapy groups, I made all the right contacts. It looks like you made the right contacts in the police department, too. You don't know what you've done, John. All I had to do was sell that one more shipment. And then I could have retired, bought an island. But you had to burn up my merchandise. Now I have to start all over again. You murdered my family! Laura said you were gonna be out of town that weekend. Otherwise, we would have done our business somewhere else. Anyway, I did save your life that night. I knew I could control you. I started hypnotherapy while you were still in a coma. And after. Those goddamn headache pills. Exactly. The little methylphenidate cocktail I invented to reinforce the post-hypnotic suggestions I gave you. You bastard! If we could have had one more session, I could have kept you away from the operation until I got out of the country. Matt, come on, let's get this over with. I'm afraid he's right, John. Karate man! I'll see you in hell. Are you okay? Yes. Where's Mac?
small planes can be very dangerous. We knew someone was cutting into our action, but we couldn't nail it down. That's why I didn't go to Zurich. Your efforts wiped out the competition. And Joanna's call tonight helped me wrap it up. I thank you. And my organization thanks you. I've been told to let you two go on your own way. Said I'll be. So you blew up the plane. Gotta go. You did, didn't you? Gotta go. That's your next target. What are you talking about? Well, everybody knows that the system doesn't work. Some of us got inspired by the Karate Man a couple of weeks ago. So it's been approved. We operate as an underground unit. We report directly to the mayor. That's where I was trying to take you the other night when you banged me. You want him to do your work for you? With us. What? Me work with you? You better get out of here. I'll be in touch. Well, how about breakfast? Breakfast? Come on. Take a chance.